everyone, this is the Mad Salvi letting you know that unless things are proven with Twitter posts and stuff like that and actual, have actual proof behind it, treat everything in this thing as a theory. I will mark try to mark certain things as news and theory and everything like that to kind of let you guys understand, but also, you know, use a critical mind. And I hope you do enjoy. TV. I wanted to give question nine a specific bit of importance, a specific bit of uh, prominence in here. They're saying AI investment this is something we should make public, but I think we have an efficiency boost and we'll consider adopting it. Continue our research in-house while also taking into account uh, reputational risks. And what this person says makes sense. It's like, you think you're too small. Why would they announce any more graduation terminations when they could just ghostwrite on Twitter accounts that the talent had some personal family stuff they're struggling with and they're taking an indefinite hiatus. Selling voice packs is just a starter. Now you can hold events with the unofficially graduated talents at cons. Someone uh, makes, you know, makes too much of a nuisance and they're gone, but they keep being milked for everything using AI. This is why, you know, uh, the Screen Actors Guild, I think for gaming right now is going on strike. Screen Actors Guild went on strike for the movie side because AI is a big risk to the creative side of the world. Uh, it's like, ha, 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 hey, guys, it's me, Selene. Can you believe that people thought I left such a great working place? Isn't that crazy? And her laugh. Uh, but here I am, me on stage, and I even have this historically, this totally accurate play button to hold on stage right now with my 3D model. You can't make that up. Ha, 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 it's been a wild year. You know, that type of thing. Uh, missing out on that kind of deal sure sounds dumb to not, you know, <laughs> it's just basically, yeah. It's like, oh, over here. Yeah, it's me, Pomo. Kept you waiting, huh? I'm sh I sure do love Metal Gear. Anyway, so here's Wonderwall. And they proceed to get treated to a 3D concert or a VR, a VR chat emotes because we all know they're spending money to have people skinwalk as actual dancers that actually cost money. And we know that they're allergic to actually investing money. So yeah, it looks like they might skinwalk even worse this time, as I've mentioned in other places. In order to do that, they would need authorization from the people whose voices are being used. They own the rights to the characters, but not the voices behind them. Can you imagine Kurosanji somehow forcing their livers to sign away their voices? Maybe a new part of their, like a new section of their contract could be related to uh, AI use of voices or putting their stuff into generative AI, you know, allowing their voices to be used for generative AI. That's a possibility, of course, considering their record of screwing foreign talents. It wouldn't surprise me if they limited it to their non-JP livers. It's, I'm shocked that the Nitty Sisters haven't uh, started making deep fakes of the livers yet. But on the other hand, we could also make one where Rika says, I will resign a CEO of any color. A good use of AI is to let it write graduation notes or let AI do the PR work. I'm sure that chat GPT can do a better job than any Niji Sanji employee. Absolutely. That would probably be a good use of AI, honestly. But still, here's the thing. If you do that, then you take the job away from someone else, which is, you know, not good. A creative person. But then again, they probably don't give people the job to begin with. And they've probably been doing some chat GPT to begin with, just been putting the wrong prompts in. They send the idea they train AIs to each of their own individual livers, tweets, posts, anything that's relevant to the specific talent, then what they'll do is if they're still suspended, they'll get AI to puppet their accounts and write any tweets and posts for them so that it seems like they're fine and dandy. And while their access to their account is gone due to a misbehavior or a misdemeanor, then it works out well enough they can train AIs to the livers' voices and mimic their speech patterns, etc. That is the big risk because that is the reason why the game industry is having a strike right now. That is the reason why... Uh, the movie industry had a strike before for the Screen Actors Guild because they are worried that this will take away creative jobs. This is one of the updates, highlights on uh, the investor meeting that happened recently. Uh, they are were talking about uh, slander overseas. We were refrained from discussing disclosing the specifics of the case here. We are currently studying countermeasures in cooperation with attorneys overseas. We intend to continue to implement more effective measures in the future as we did in Japan. So they're going after um, slander in the worldwide sphere and that is of course th these are all the things that are going on here and basically yeah they're saying uh this is question three about nidhi sanji en in the future expansion and the fourth quarter we held an ar live show 3d debut broadcast nidhi en encounter which didn't do very well either one of them music content where pairs of people created these songs air live was watched more than people than we expected of course we recognize that there have been some changes in the trends of our customers but we think that as an opportunity to reaffirm that there are a certain number of people who continue to support us. There will be people who will support you, but not if you continue to be negative towards your livers and not if you stop supporting your livers overall. We will leave. <clears throat> Anyone who was supporting you will leave. In order to rebuild the relationship of trust with our customers, we need to continue uh, to strengthen the creation of content, such as tournaments and programs that will captivate our, our customers. In addition, in terms of revenue, we believe that we have customers in various countries, regions, cultural backgrounds. Uh, so we believe that we need to implement measures that are different from these that we have implemented in sales before and things like that. So yeah, 
they're trying to expand their sales channels, uh, go against slander overseas, that type of stuff. So this is what they're doing. You know, they were talking about the Nidhi Sanji colors thing that they did, um, that type of stuff. They tried a little bit, but they're not really trying as hard as like, let's say a cover is, or even face connect, or even other smaller agencies are in the EN sphere. And that's why they are being left behind and they will continue to be left behind. And the memes keep coming and they don't stop coming. This one says, if I had a nickel for a person named a name who started with an R who embraced the darkness, I would have two nickels, which isn't a lot, but it's weird to say it happened twice. This person, local man ruins everything. Hey man, at least Riku from uh, Kingdom Hearts redeemed himself at the end and managed to master both light and darkness, harnessing the power of darkness to fight with the light. As thematic as it is to claim Niti's Riku is, heart is a heartless, he's much more of a nobody, given how he's fully disconnected from all emotions and empathy he and doesn't understand anyone else having emotions or even any worth. They're just pawns and tools to him. Absolutely. Counterpoint. One realizes F up and seeks to be better. All things considered, Riku succeeded. The other is essentially a walking version of this. Let's see what it is. Oh, am I to the blame? No, it's the children's fault. In this case, is he the one to blame? Nope. It's uh, everyone else's fault. And here we go. Another little meme here. I built a 2.78 billion yen studio to support my talents. Hey guys, look at my new yacht. That's a 2.78 billion. Guaranteed fast graduation. Absolutely. That's what they said for the VTA talents. Guaranteed fast graduation. Uh, I don't think they understood what that meant. Another little fun moment, a fun interaction between Mint and Matara we're having here. Uh, Mint wins a strangle from Matara. Let's see how it goes. Are you ready for my favorite chaos god? Yes! A lot of people think it's Lanesh because we have similar coloring, but it's actually, he's not a real grandfather, but we like to call him Grandpa Nurgle. Nurgle? Grandpa, oh. Oh god, Look yes. At him. Grandpa Nurgle. The great fun. unclean one, lord oh, of god. pestilence, decay, despair, disease, infection, but also renewal acceptance and cycles of life are you sure this guy because i mean disease and well it depends disease can bring renewal in the sense of it can you know off somebody and then renew everything does it resemble you the most <laughs> Oof. Lord, i'm gonna pestilence. strangle you, great, and you will do i am going to strangle you and you so anytime people are sick or they get COVID or anything we like to say you got you got papa nurgle's blessing oh, okay. uh, oh i will strangle you next time i see you and you won't derive any pleasure from it i'm don't I good luck in your hands through my neck, you know? I, I will I will I will do the little Luigi vacuum suck on you. <laughs> oh god. Oh no. <laughs> Mint is gonna get the suck. Mint is gonna get the strong suck that Matara can give. Oh god. That just became something else totally different. I'll leave it there. If you guys remember Taiga, I'm just gonna give you a little bit of a refresher on this Taiga person. Taiga is a content creator who is a femboy. A femboy uh tiger, you know, and they are they had done, you know, some lewd things here and there. They'd done ASMRs and that kind of stuff and do that kind of fun stuff with their community because the community enjoys it. Uh, they had gotten their 100K uh, YouTube plaque, YouTube play button, and then pretty soon after got their channel removed by YouTube. All of their channels removed by YouTube. He tried, uh, they tried to um, to actually get them reinstated by, you know, just putting in the the request forms for that kind of stuff and, you know, or having a relook and everything like that. Didn't happen. What has happened recently with him? Well, he also ended up getting removed, deplatformed from uh, Twitch. I mean, Twitter. He ended up deplatformed from Twitter. I think Twitch is the only place he has left at this point. Waiter asked for content with my post, not vague, over dramatic writings. Context, Tigaholic, a femboy VTuber who's controversial due to being a Shotokan, as well as slanderous claims against that, that he is a PDF. It's been, um, it's been debunked, as far as I can tell. Uh, despite all this, he kept trucking with even his 100k silver play button and only a few days later got banned from YouTube, like I mentioned, for nudity, supposedly. He was suggestive sometimes, sure, but it's much more likely the case of mass reporting by aunties, and he was given his channel back for like six hours before YouTube removed it again. And now he's gotten removed from Twitter. And is this real? Yes, it is. I checked his account the other day. This is real. What this person is putting here is real. Also, the fact that people are celebrating the huge effing W in the VTuber community, according to them, uh, and saying, you know, they're happy that he's gone. That's just not right. To celebrate this is just not right, as these people are saying down here. Uh, isn't the VTuber got two of his YouTube channels banned? Yes. Uh, w for VTuber community said the tourists, we need the gate, 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 gate keep harder. Uh, it's so sad, VTuber community, then it's tourists that have no clue about VTubing. And this tourist over here, according to this person as well, said, you have just reposted content that what you said yourself was illegal, even if you did censor it. They're saying that Lolly Shota is actually illegal in parts of the world, including some of the U.S. states, but also the child implication comes from Taiga commissioning it. And, and it's W. Artiv's OC in a school environment, which even with it being drawing is pretty predatory implications. No, because he's not he's over the age of 18. If he has the the tiny boy look to him, that's different. 
it's a body type versus an age type. That's what people always get things confused. Lolly, uh, at the very least, when it comes to Japan, is a lot of times petite. Shota can be used the same way as petite. If you look smaller than you are, you can be 30 year old and have a Shota type body. You can do that. That's why people, you know, like Taiga did what they did because they had that type of body type. Don't get me wrong, I'm not accusing Taiga of him, himself of being a predator. I'm just saying the art he posted is very icky. And then she posts the art. Censored, of course. But still, posts the art that they said themselves was illegal. Also downloaded it and edited it, so the so-called illegal content and also posted it. it. That means it's also in it on their um, on their PC. So uh, you just made even worse stuff by trying to harm him. Love when people breach the 18 U.S. code. It says, it advertises, promotes, prevents, distributes, or solicits through mails including computer material, purposeful material, in a manner that affects the belief that is intended to be caused another to, you know, get hurt. Uh, or it contains obscene visual depiction of a minor engaging in conduct or visual depiction of an actual minor engaging in, in explicit conduct. So they broke the, they broke, e oh God, oh God, dear Je Jesus, I did not, oh my God, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to affect that one. Uh, how is that not Shota getting plowed? Um, I don't know what's going on here. I'm not going to go any, any, any lower than that because... I fear what I will see, but you guys get the idea. Remember seeing the uncensored art and don't remember the, her, the, the, the VGGGGG showing? If I remember correctly, it was wearing underwear. So yeah, there's no actual stuff like that. It's just people wanting to give more harm. Uh, context, uh, Toxic Corgi. This isn't AG related. It's still VTuber related. That's why I put it out here. Random fun fact, before Twitter account got was taken down, Doki Bird herself followed him. They made a takedown of Clipper, but the message is out there. Exactly. They're just... Piling on the dude, and I do not like that. I do not like when people pile on like this. Here we have something that we're, I wanted to talk about. Lumi Bell is FYI, you need an actual Argentinian credit card to super chat in ARS nowadays. Just a VPN isn't enough. It's impossible. It's not impossible to get, but it's a lot more effort. I'd wager most ARS super chats uh, that he so easily dismisses as worthless are genuine from Argentinians just wanting to show support. What are they talking about? Lucius Merriweather, a big, big, big VTuber, is saying PSA for fellow YouTube streamers, or YouTuber at least, it's best not to acknowledge the super chats that are received in ARS. There have been many instances where people have gifted hundreds of memberships or tons of red super chats only to the same person, and they receive only about five bucks. A red super chat is a thousand ARS, amounts to 1.08 USD. A liter of milk in Argentina costs 1400. It's Incredibly selfish to push away others' donations and place yours at the top for less than the cost of a carton of milk. That's not true, um, but that's assuming that people who do this are in fact Argentinian, when that's usually not even the case. People are able to use VPN to switch their country to Argentina, but you need an actual card that is in Argentina. That You can't just be like, oh, I'm sure an Argentinian, but my account is from the US, so I can use Argentinian Super Chats. It doesn't work that way. YouTube doesn't have that type of loophole. Uh, you have to actually have a, either a gift card or some kind of visa or whatever that is Argentinian based in order to do things. Another thing, what about the people that are actually in Argentina? What about this? You know, what about them? He doesn't want to, that either, does he? I'm, in my opinion, he's a little deplorable to tell a whole group of fans born in the wrong country that their monetary support means nothing to him and shouldn't mean anything to anyone. Uh, this is basically the $5 drama, but worse because he's poor shaming an entire country. I don't like that. If you are from Argentina and want to super chat me, do it to your heart's content. You should not be punished because someone over here in the US, EU, or richer nations that can afford $100 super chats, etc., like actual dollar super chats, are going to be poor shaming you for this. I, I will never do that because I myself uh, live in poverty all day. So, you know, I myself have those issues. I can't super chat the people that I love a lot of times because of the fact I don't have that money, you know, so I can understand how it feels. That 1000 ARS super chat could be a ton for you. It could be, a, and, and for someone in Argentina, it's a ton. It's either that or milk. You'd buy milk instead. You could literally be taking milk out of the hands of somebody and they want to give this to you and you're doing that? Let's see what he responded with. It says, my tweet was poorly worded. It was intended to be aimed at trolls. Unfortunately, it made it seem like I don't want actual Argentinian supporters to be recognized, which is, of course, not my intent. A friend of mine several months ago had deep disappointment in finding out that someone had gifted them hundreds of subs, only to panic thinking YouTube was giving him the wrong amount. I should have been more uh, thoughtful on how to warn people. Absolutely. Troll accounts are different, but you cannot punish an actual country for troll stuff. Just accept it as it is. Accept it as it comes. Whether it be troll people or it be actual Argentinians, whoever gives you anything, whether it's for me, whether it's one cent, a dollar, whatever it is, or, you know, a, a one Argentinian ARS or a hundred Argentinian ARS, whatever it ends up being for them. Um, that is, ha I'm happy. You're giving something out of your pocket instead of keeping it for yourself and using it for yourself. You're giving it to me as a gift. And I appreciate that. 
All right, sorry for what he said or sorry for being called out. Um, just sad, really, that my post is disappointment over what I'd seen happen to others. From my understanding, the issue wasn't fixed with membership spam gifts, but it was fixed with Super Chats, as far as I know. So sorry for being called out. I'm disappointed. Used to be a fan of your works. Seems like he's apologizing for how he worded it and said since it didn't come out the right way and made it seem as though he didn't want his certain supporters donating to him instead of it just being people attempting to take advantage of donations with different currencies. To try and take attention from those generally donating high amounts, not that he feels low donations are an issue. Like if you can't give that $100 super chat and instead, even if you do make a VPN and make it in freaking uh, 1,000 ARS, if that's all you can afford, the US equivalent of 1,000 ARS, then go ahead and do it. I'm never gonna shame anybody for giving a Argentinian super chat, never. Argentinian super chat could be Zimbabwe dollars. I don't care because like a million Zimbabwe dollars is like one US dollar or something like that. So you could be giving me a million Zimbabwe dollars. I don't care. You're giving me money. <laughs> You're giving me something out of your pocket to help me. You're doing it to support my content. You're doing it to support me. I will never, ever be this way. And if I ever am, call me out on it. Call me out on my S and just destroy me on Twitter if you have to. That is not the way I ever want to be. It says stating you can just turn on a VPN and abuse ARS like you could two years ago is misinformation. Not saying ARS abuse is completely gone. A couple leftover trolls are probably still cheating the system. This peek at Hololizer will show you ARS usage has gone down significantly. It has. I don't care how you treat the supporters. I simply don't want people to think that any and all ARS donations are essentially malicious. When most people, most likely, they're just simply someone supporting their Oshi in any way that they can that YouTube is allowing that. And that's the thing. That's the issue I have. That's why I'm making it so long. Don't be like him. Even if you're getting trolls at ARS, just treat it as a supporter. It's better for your mental health as well to just treat it as a supporter from Argentina, trying to give you some support in any way that they can. It's going to help you overall to think this way. It's gonna help your mental health instead of thinking you're being trolled. This is a short one on VTuber Mercy Modiste from Via Lure, reaching uh, 10K subscribers. Congratulations to them. They are, you know, a lot of people have given Via Lure a lot of bad uh, rap for, you know, uh, they have their spicy stuff on Patreon. They don't have it on, um, on YouTube, so they do put it behind a paywall, which makes perfect sense. They overall, I've watched every single Via Lure one. Yes, they do ASMR and that type of stuff. They're say don't. They're kind of, I mean, there are a lot of lewd tubers. So if you hate Via Lure, then hate every single lewd tuber that exists out there. Some of the bigger ones can be lewd on occasion as well. It's a say don't. It's a thing in VTuber culture. It's fine for that to exist. I don't have any issue with them personally at all. And I don't understand how people can personally have so much hatred towards an organization that's trying to just make their own little niche. Party, party, party. Uh, yes, um, Strani Cuddles, which is like the main person in Via Lure. Uh, let's effing go. Congrats. Congratulations. A lot of people are just very, very happy. Um, they're just, you know, giving them the props that they need. And I'm glad that they're growing. Uh, and I hope that they continue to grow because their niche is not one that's specifically uh, too out there and it's not something that's probably either too popular yet uh but maybe they can grow it welcome back to the vtuber showcase on this channel which is me trying to give back a little bit of the love and all of the wonder wonderfulness that this community has given to me give it a back a little bit to it here is regina red who is the jungle tavern it is a evil gremlin of the at jungle tavern art by yanni yanni rigging by they rigged it themselves they are currently uh doing most of their stuff on YouTube and Twitch. They do kind of both. It's a he, she, they are a full-time VTuber, but they do not do lewd content. Uh, they have, like I mentioned, their YouTube channel. Let's take a look at the Regina Symphony. Number one, the Scream, which is their kind of intro video. She has that Scream. Oh, they, they, they done. They done those boys. They done those boys. But yeah, uh, they also have, you know, their Twitch channel, which is doing rather well. They have a lot of um, clips here. They have, let's see when their last uh, stream was. The last stream was a couple months ago. I think they, they are starting to get into the groove of things, which a lot of people do. Uh, let's take a look at uh, their show intro bio is the Regina Red Queen of Hearts and it's off with your head. Stream variety of games, but what is constant is that I will keep you keep trying to win. They do YouTube and Twitch, gaming, music, and memes. They don't have a constant game schedule, but will always be posted on Twitter. Whenever they're back, they will be posted on Twitter. Like for example, recently they have uh, July 27th stream schedule. They're back Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. They're having a good week this, this next week on the this 
of the 27th, starting on Sunday, Royal Duties, Monday, Elden Ring. They're doing these things. They're doing some Zatsudan as well. Are willing to collab with other content creators, VTubers, IRL, etc. Yes, they are, of course, which is always good. They have a 2.0 plan in the future, and they also plan to do more original music. Um, one thing that they want you to remember about it is that there will always be haters. But remember, they're just hiding behind the screen. As long as you did nothing wrong, keep on shining, which is I, what I do. I keep trying to keep the positivity going by supporting VTubers like this and also by just doing my contents as well. If you want to be uh, shown on this showcase, I will put the form in the description below, uh, the form link as well in the pinned comment for each and every one of the VTuber showcases I do in order for you to go on there. It doesn't matter how small you are. You could just barely be starting. You could have five subscribers. You got 500 or even 5,000. I will showcase you because everyone deserves a chance. That is all for right now. Of course, comment, like, and subscribe down below. Thank you for being here. Of course, I love having the conversations with you guys. I love having these things with you guys. And I do appreciate it whenever you guys do comment. Take a look at my description for my socials. There's a Discord. There's Twitter. There's other places that you can check me out. Twitch, etc. And also check on your screen right now because there might be a video that you might enjoy. Thank you.